had some severe back pain okay i had been to uh, one very good hospital like uh, you can say five star hospital and then after my mri and x rays and all the doctor said you have to uh, do the operation for that you have to undergo the surgery my god you didn't have it no i didn't good have the, you yeah. didn't have it yeah. otherwise you would have been in bed now. yeah yeah so and he said he had given me that 8 hours operation and all but i went to some another person like and then i just wanted to find out you know like second opinion and then doctor the, he asked me to do certain exercises i have done that and then he said uh, no need okay of doing any another operation. doctor or the same yeah. doctor uh, no another doctor another doctor, doctor yeah uh, uh, another five star hospital i have he is a good doctor been, very good doctor yeah. he was the spine surgeon there and the last authority it seems so somebody had given me that reference and i had been there so uh, and again this year some problem i had i had gone to another regular orthopedics doctor not to the uh you can say that so called third say, doctor third, third doctor. doctor okay and that third doctor also said no need of operation how can that person that doctor had suggested this okay so this is the story now i just want to know that since you are such a great person i just no, want no, to know no no i am a human no, being no no sir uh, can a patient has got that right to ask before sleeping on the operation table that i just want to know that exactly what had happened is any rule is there in your medical ethics or uh, in our law system i just want to know because this had happened for many people even angiography angioplasty so many people they are suffering through this as you said medicine is uh, nothing but business so as a common people rather human beings do you do we have any that kind of system that we can just go and find out whether this operation is needed whether really there is a blockage or uh, or again will flow in the stream i i really want It's to find out it's a good question i I'll, i'll give you a very simple solution yeah. as a patient yeah. number 1 never submit yourself to surgery on one opinion okay. take a second opinion because medicine you can take if something goes wrong you can survive yeah. but surgery if supposing they had operated on your back you would have lost your power in the limbs permanently yeah. i have a doctor who went for this kind of a surgery because i always say never go for back surgery and he's completely paralyzed now he is in bed and poor chap has no wife also so he is in real trouble he was my old student but he is in real deep trouble now now the other thing i would like to you say when you have a back ache never see a doctor see a physiotherapist he will cure you with simple physiotherapy i will give you an example i had a patient in chennai who came to see me with the back ache i said this man requires a physiotherapist i called the physiotherapist and said examine him he went to came back and told me sir i told told him to remove his thick purse from his back pocket his pain is gone sir <laughs> if you have a thick purse at the back when you sit it presses on your sciatic nerve so you get a back pain completely completely and if the purse is removed the pain gone so you must have a sensible doctor yeah. never subject yourself to surgery any kind of surgery with one opinion but they'll trick you what they'll tell is suppose you say i don't want an angioplasty now the surgery done i'll go and check second opinion it says i don't know i can't guarantee you go to the next place you may die on the way oh, oh. which is all not true that's not thing. not that's true at all yeah. you can always take a second opinion so that's the psychology na no? like we feel it is emergency and then again we have been ama if you don't that. use the psychology we can't make you a bakra of you Okay yeah that's also true I'll tell you one <laughs> yeah. of my students yeah. a very good student of mine passed his md through and joined a five star corporate hospital one day he was seeing a patient in the op so he was telling trying to ex- tell the patient something then the cardiac surgeon was passing by so he called him come out I want to talk to you he went out he said see in a corporate hospital this is not what you do if you first when the patient comes find out who is funding him whether he has insurance whether he has got rich parents whether he has a lot of money in that case you refer him to me i will manage him supposing he doesn't have anything then you give him whatever you do and send him off it requires medicines only so you have to intervene to make money and we have to make a bakra of you by fear, putting fear into your head saying that your vessels are all blocked i am happy that vessels are blocked if somebody's vessels are blocked he will live long i have a chap who came to me 40 years ago with all the four vessels blocked in the heart but is so much collateral he had his whole angiogram was looking like collaterals 
So he came to me. I told him, you don't require anything. You forget about it. And you go home and enjoy life. But his children thought, this village doctor doesn't know. So they were all in America. They took him to America. They took the same angiogram, took him to Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic doctor saw that and said, ask your father to go home, have a peg of whiskey every night and enjoy life. And now he is 94. 94. He is still alive. 54 years later. Absolutely fine with all the vessels blocked. Nature is a great doctor. Nature does all the things. And backache for a woman should never go to a doctor. Backache is due to bad posture. Sit straight. All right. Don't slouch in the chair. That's what most of us do. Even I do that. My son says, you advise everybody, but you slouch in the chair. Thank Sing you. Sub, sat now. Sat, sit straight up. Back straight. And when your back is straight, your back is no problem. Thank you so much. Welcome.